Hi, I'm Mark Gaylis, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador. Now, if push came to shove and you asked me what was my favorite focal length lens, I'd have to say it's the 85mm Prime. Um, it makes the perfect portrait lens, and that's a close head and shoulders portrait. Now, typically they're used uh, at wide apertures, and this has also led me to use these uh, lenses for also wide aperture street. I know typically a lot of street photographers will use a 35mm equivalent lens at um, apertures stopped down such as f8 and f11 but i am uh, quite keen on getting that figure ground separation that these short telephoto lenses offer us it also allows me to cross over from street photography into portrait photography as i introduce myself to the people at the location um, that i'm engaging with um, now with the um, Sony full frame E-mount systems, um, it was launched without an 85mm lens and a lot of photographers started using non-native lenses when they made the move to full frame mirrorless and I was no exception. This did lead us to use uh, often manual focus um, using the focus peaking and magnify view. But uh, as with many alpha photographers, especially with the A7R2 and now the A9 camera, the ability to use IAF in continuous autofocus mode really um, basically removes the need to use any manual focus with these, um, with these lenses. And this has really led me to um, favoring native E-mount. Now I have three native E-mount um, 85mm primes on the table and I just want to uh, discuss those options. Okay, the first one I actually started using as a native E-mount was actually this uh, Zeiss Batis. Um, it's a great sharp lens, um, a sharp wide open. And so this was my first introduction to using a native E-mount lens. Uh, but then um, the GM 1.8 or oh, sorry, 1.4 uh, lens was introduced. And this really is not the title of being a, a bokeh uh, king, really. It's got um, 13 rounded uh, aperture blades, and this really makes for very smooth um, bokeh. And um, it's, it's also a pin, pin sharp lens, and you can see examples that I'm posting from this lens. And I've often posted full uh, resolution images so people can uh, take great delight in zooming in on their own computer uh, to uh, assess the sharpness of uh, this GM lens. I have to say though, um, this lens is not light. Okay, and when I'm traveling and I'm trying to keep down to seven kilograms uh, carry-on, that's the carry-on for most airlines, is um, if I'm taking um, some telephoto zooms, this uh, just pushes me over that seven kilo limit. So I was really looking for something to travel that was a lot lighter. And uh, this now has become my favorite 85 mil uh, travel lens. Okay, it's, um, it's a Sony native E-mount. It's a 1.8 aperture. It's the lightest of the three lenses here. It's pretty much um, less than half the weight of the GM. And um, I had high expectations and high hopes uh, for this 1.8, and it does deliver. It's a sharp lens, wide open, just like the Batis. Um, but uh, it's also not only the lightest on the table, it's also the cheapest of these three lenses. It's not a GM, it's not a Zeiss, but it does perform really, really well. It's one of the bargain full frame lenses in Sony's lineup. And as you can see from uh, this lens that I've got, it's a small form factor. Okay, and it takes up um, little or no space in your bag. And so there's very little reason, well, I certainly wouldn't uh, leave home without it. So take a look at the image gallery, um, explore the, um, the attributes and quality that this lens can actually deliver. And uh, if you're like me and you like traveling light, um, I suspect this lens is going to find a place in your kit bag too. I'm Mark Gaylor. I'll catch you online next time.